What's up guys, PG here, hope you're having a wonderful day. Today is a Dogecoin emergency video, let's jump right into it. We can see the Dogecoin is currently at 0.61, down 9.40%, it reached all the way down to 0.52. So what happened there? Some people are asking themselves, is Dogecoin crashing? Is the $1 rally finished? What happens now if Elon Musk doesn't talk about Dogecoin on SNL? Everything, some very valuable questions, but let's dive deeper here. We can see that one hour, it's still up 1.46%, so that's a great sign, people are still buying the dips. Retail investors are buying the dips, but we got here a big sell-off, that's no question. We got a big sell-off around 5 p.m. here, around 6.15 p.m. We got a, a big sell-off. People, maybe big whales were selling because they, they're, they like to sell the news. They saw lots of momentum and they're saying, wait, maybe Elon Musk won't be talking about Dogecoin on SNL because he simply can't do it because of legal reasons. So for that, we sell and maybe uh, we have big sales selling before SNL because uh, that's what people like to do. They buy the rumor, they sell the news and uh, we can see that more and more people are, are buying the news here. But I'm very curious to see what will happen with Elon Musk on SNL. So now let's take a look at the demand. What's happening with Dogecoin? Is the demand rising or, or less and less people searching up Dogecoin? If you take a look here at the last seven days, we can see that we had two big spikes two days ago we can see a massive spike here then another massive spike and right now a little bit down so that's why also dogecoin hasn't been moving that much in the past hours but if you take a look at the one week chart let's take a look here if you take a look at the one week chart dogecoin is still up almost 100 percent so that's very great news but if you take a look here at the demand in the last day let's take a look at the last day for example last day in the united states we can see the demand has been going down for dogecoin now let's take a look at the past four hours if you take a look at the past four hours demand has been rising in the short term so people are looking up dogecoin more and more as minutes are going by now it's still very early in the united states so people are still waking up so um, let's take a look at worldwide what the world is thinking about dogecoin in the last four hours steady growth so that's beautiful and very bullish to see for dogecoin and i'm very curious to see if you type in dogecoin snl for example what the demand says for for snl dogecoin if it's been rising or not dogecoin snl in the past four hours steady let's take a look at the last seven days last seven days we had some big spikes and now it's going out a little bit but if we take a look at the last seven days it still goes up from there so very very great we still have some big demand and if you type here elon musk snl if you type in elon musk snl what are people thinking we got some big spike when the rumor was when the rumor okay so it's been down and if you take a look at the, the last day last day as elon musk snl people have been still looking up the snl and uh, and elon musk now it's been going down a little bit but uh, we can see let's take a look at the last four hours elon musk snl and uh, we can see that uh, we still have people searching elon musk snl which is very very great news for for elon musk for dogecoin and uh now let's talk about what can happen with, uh, with Dogecoin on SNL because some people were saying what happens now if he doesn't talk about Dogecoin if Elon Musk doesn't mention Dogecoin because he simply can't do it for legal reasons so that can so that's, that, that can happen let's imagine now that the lawyers from SNL are saying Elon Musk you can't talk about Dogecoin because with the SEC etc so maybe he won't be talking about SNL for legal reasons but uh, that's on the bearish side and that wouldn't be very great news because let's imagine now if Elon Musk doesn't talk about SNL we can probably see some pull-offs some pullbacks and some sell-offs during the SNL show on Saturday. So as, as the show will go on, if, if for example, two hours in or 30 minutes in, Elon Musk still hasn't talked about SNL, then uh, people will start to sell and we'll see some pullbacks. No, not financial advice, but uh, that's something that can happen if Elon Musk doesn't talk about SNL. We can see slowly, slowly, slowly Dogecoin going down. What's very great here with Dogecoin is that we have some support levels so that's great we can see we have some support levels here at the 030 zone so um, let's imagine that we have a big sell-off that it goes now from 060 and uh, on saturday it goes all the way to 0 for 75 0 76 77 all the way to elon musk and snl and let's now say that he doesn't talk about uh, dogecoin on snl maybe we'll have a pullback 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 and it will go all the way down to the 0 0.30 levels but that's still great if you take a look at the long term and if you take a look at the one month where it was at 0 0.05 so still x6 growth so um, even if it goes down to 0 0.30 and if it loses half of its worth it's still great gains for people who got in one month ago now people who got in at 0 0.27 they will be even but uh, still that would be great to see it go down to that level at the worst case scenario that would be some great news to see it go down 0 0.27 0 0.30 that would be a great bottom level and a, a great worst scenario 
Now, in the best scenario, if we're optimistic, let's now say that Elon Musk makes a skit to Dogefather about Dogecoin. Dogecoin pops from 0 0.70 to 0 0.70, 80, 90. Let's say it's at 0 0.90. And then he makes a big announcement saying that Tesla accepts now Dogecoin as a payment and then it's going to the roof, it's going past $1, and then we can see Dogecoin go to $1, 120 130 even maybe, and people will keep on going, keep on going, and days after that, we'll have other announcements, and if Tesla accepts Dogecoin, we can see other brands accepting Dogecoin, it will get on bigger, bigger, it will take a life of its own, and we can then see that then it's a whole new world starting for, for Dogecoin, and a Dogecoin can go there, like people are saying, 10 is the new one, so from there, it can go easily to $2, $3, and keep on rising, other brands accept Dogecoin, Tesla accept Dogecoin, YouTubers pay Tesla with Dogecoin and then it's rolling, rolling, rolling and from there we go to the moon. So uh, very, very curious and then to uh, conclude it all, Elon Musk puts a Dogecoin on the moon or does something with Mars and Dogecoin. So that would be just, just unbelievable for Dogecoin. So I'm um, very curious to see what will happen on the optimistic side, it can go to the moon. And on the pessimistic side, if it can't talk about Dogecoin, maybe it will go all the way down to 0 0.30. But that would that wouldn't be that bad if you take a look at the months, months and months. 0 0.30 wouldn't be that bad in my opinion. And even if you got it at 0 0.30, you're not losing a lot here. So uh, maybe people got it at 0 0.40 or here at 0 0.60, 0 0.50. That would be that would be some some bad, not a, not the best. But uh, in the long term, it can even go to 10 dollars 20. Let's let's see where it can go, Dogecoin. It's currently, let's take a look at the coin market cap, where Dogecoin is heading right now. If it's still number four, coin market cap here, let's take a look. Coin market cap, let's take a look here, coin market cap. And uh, let's take a look at Dogecoin, where Dogecoin is at. Dogecoin is number four still. And uh, we can see that it's getting closer and closer to Binance coin, the number three. So that's looking very, very great for Dogecoin. But um, if they go number three, then they will be very bullish from there. And uh, I think that that's a pretty good thing. Bitcoin number one, Ethereum number two, and uh, Dogecoin number three, because Dogecoin is having so much attention right now, so much demand. I wouldn't be surprised to see it at number three and uh, reach a $100 billion market cap. That would, that I wouldn't be surprised to see that. So I'm very curious to see. Now the next level to look at for 0 0.60. It's currently at 0 0.60, so 0 0.69, the meme number. People, it went all the way there, so I, I don't think that people care a lot about 0 0.69 right now. Everyone cares, I, 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 you probably too cares about the one dollar Dogecoin at one and uh, there's a big chance not financial advice but there's a big chance that if Elon Musk makes an announcement that we'll see that on on SNL on Saturday Dogecoin to one so I'm very very curious and excited to see what will happen I would love to have your price prediction what do you think where do you think Dogecoin will go and uh, a part of that we got also some other great news we, we've seen from uh, Mark Cuban that uh, the Maver that is basketball club has sold more now with Dogecoin than with Bitcoin and Ethereum. So um, people are, are buying in Dogecoin, which is really, really great news. More and more people are using it as a payment. And uh, the best of both worlds would be buying Teslas with Dogecoin. That would just be the best. So um, I'm very curious to see what Elon Musk will do on Saturday, if he'll announce it or if he, wo if he won't talk about it. So um, I'm very, very curious for that. And uh, we can see that they posted a video of him with on SNL. If you take a look at SNL here, SNL, they posted a video with with Elon here, Elon at the studio, and uh, people were still very, very bullish and saying, talk about Dogecoin, talk about Dogecoin, talk about Dogecoin. So um, I'm very curious what Elon Musk is preparing, and I'm very curious to see what will happen. So very, very exciting, and uh, very bullish to see what will happen. Very curious. Tell me your price prediction, like we said. If you enjoy, you can leave a like, you can subscribe. Thank you for watching. This video is not financial advice, only for entertainment purposes only, and I'll see you in the next one.